Lorraine, uh, if folks in the audience aren't familiar with this, this is in fact based on a magazine article that appeared in New York Magazine's The Cut. I'd love it if you could take me to back to that moment the first time you read that article and what it was that really stuck out to you that made you go on to think this canon should be a movie. Uh, it was sent to me by Jessica Elbaum, so thank you, Jessica, <laughs> um, in the summer of 2016, which was a different time on planet Earth. Um, and I was really taken with ha the themes that it talked about, uh, uh, gender as it relates to the economy, capitalism. I thought it was a really incredible look at a world that we don't often get to see, at least not from uh, the dancer's perspective. And I, I thought there was a really compelling friendship story at, at the root of it. So um, I was just really taken with the, the story, the, the process of the reporting itself, the, the journalist and, and uh, the characters involved. And, and yeah, the themes that it touched upon were, just felt really uh, urgent and organic. Yeah, and, and Jennifer, there are so many different themes in this film. Which was the one that was kind of the, the most compelling one for you that really br brought you into this project? Um, themes, I, I would say probably the difference between the way women are treated and men are treated for the same exact thing mm -hmm. was something that, you know, I'm, they're both in essence stealing and the guys all get off and the women go, you know, go to get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go to jail <laughs> and, um, but but there was many things about it obviously about the script that I loved um, you know just it reminded me a little bit of like Goodfellas or Boogie Nights in the sense that the minute I read it that it was like this dangerous kind of sexy kind of glamorous world but that was really scary um, and that people don't really get to go into the day to day of all the time from the people who are in it. So if you think of the mafia, the porn industry, or the strip club, it has to be told from the woman's point of view. And it never, those type of movies are never told from the woman's point of view. So to me, that was really, really interesting as well. And Jessica and Elaine, maybe you can talk a little bit about what it took to actually get this film made and made rather swiftly, especially considering some of the themes going out and say, hey, we're going to make a, a film about a bunch of strippers conning a bunch of Wall Street guys. How'd that go over? <laughs> Wasn't wasn't easy. Um, <laughs> we uh, had a lot of people t throw us out, tell us no, and you know it took a minute to find the right home. And it, it, yeah. it was Sisyphusian. Yeah. I mean, it was it, it, not easy is an understatement. I aspired for it to not be easy. It was it was probably the hardest thing I've ever experienced because it was beautifully written, beautifully constructed. We had Jennifer Lopez in a role. She understood it was a complex, interesting, sexy, empowering, messed up character. And we had a reel that Loreen had cut together from our brilliant editor, Kayla, um, that was insanely great. And uh, we put this movie on our backs and we went everywhere because uh, Annapurna kept getting us to the starting gate and then not pulling the trigger. And uh, we went everywhere. We went to streamers. We went everywhere. And everyone could recognize the pedigree, certainly, of Lorene and, and certainly of Jennifer. And they wanted to be in business, and they loved the idea that it was a stripper movie, as they said. Um, it was like a scene out of the player. But why can't the um, <clears throat> strippers, why can't the guys who they drug um, rape somebody? Like, if they could just be really bad guys, um, then great, we'll make that movie. And, you know, we said... It's based on a true story. <laughs> so, you know, we can't change the, the fact of it. And part of the brilliance of Loreen Scafaria's writing is that she doesn't judge her characters. She allows them to be as complex and interesting and twisted and, you know, fucked up as, as so many people are. And they wanted us to, to, to demonize the men to justify the women because they said, we just are absolutely certain that the audience at home won't want to see women taking advantage of men. And I guess, I guess they're wrong. <laughs> Jennifer, your dancing in this was extraordinary. And I think one of the things- Thank you. And, and I just want to say, having once as a reporter taken a pole dancing class, <laughs> just take one 
dance class. And it, <laughs> there, when you make it look that easy, I mean, that's really, can you talk just about the physical experience of it? Because I think yes. it's, it's made to look easy, but it is not. No, it, it's extremely difficult. And when, you know, I, I took on the movie and I, I loved the character and I was like, okay, she has to have this great dance in here because she is the girl at the club. She's the one who's got it all figured out and she's the best and she has to have that moment. And uh, I thought, okay, great. I'll take some pole dancing classes. This will be so sexy. It'll be so fun. Oh my God. <laughs> and then I was like, oh my God, this is the hardest thing I've ever done. This hurts so bad. That steel pipe in my legs and it was hurting and you got to hold on with your stuff and it's like it was so hard and I remember the first day I went into <laughs> my bowl class I'm like in there with my sweatpants and my sweatshirt I'm like okay show me how to bowl dance and she's like well okay it'll be better if you're in your bra and panties and I was like excuse me <laughs> and she was like yeah you know the skin is what sticks and you will slip off and crack your head open if you do it with your sweatpants on. I was like, okay. She goes, might as well get used to it now. I said, okay. <laughs> I guess you're right. All right. <laughs> I take all my stuff. But it was incredibly, incredibly hard. Probably one of the hardest things. And just be, people are like, oh, you're a dancer. It must have been somewhat easy. But no, it's actually like learning acrobatics. It's a whole different thing. And uh, I just knew that if I could, because Ramona was who she was in the club and, and, and was the best kind of stripper dancer at the club uh, that I had to pull off at least three minutes of this or whatever it was, uh, this length of this song. And so I just learned that we worked on the moves first, the acrobatics upside down. And then I said, Lorraine, make sure you get my face so they know it's me. I don't care if I look crazy. I don't care if I look like a bat. Just get my face. <laughs> Just make sure they know that. I was, uh, once we learned all of those very intricate spins and moves and climbs and things, and uh, then I started adding in the other layer of the stripper and the siren and the person who's drawing them in and the person who understands how to work the crowd and get the money and make them laugh and make them think many, many different things while she's up there. It's interesting of the films that you've referenced, none of them are sports films, which is kind of how you wound up treating it. If we could just talk about the filmmaking itself yeah. for a moment, particularly that scene, and how you approached it as really more of an athletic endeavor than a yeah. sports film, film. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, Todd Van Hazel and I, a DP, we spoke a lot about this theme of control that runs through the film, and uh, we wanted to apply that to the visual language as well. And so a scene like that um, is where uh, we're seeing Ramona in control of everything, including the camera. <laughs> Ramona is in total control of, of where the camera goes, the moment we cut, the moment we cut back. Um, and so, uh, yeah, of course, we wanted to see Destiny's point of view, Destiny seeing Ramona for the first time, but really highlight the athleticism of it, the strength, the power that it takes, and um, and yeah, and that and that sense of control that that Ramona also, has. The we audience. also talked about it being like a stunt, yeah, because it is so difficult to do. It's not something you can shoot for a day or two. There's just no way. And even the 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 kind of half a day or whatever we did, maybe three quarters of a day that it took to sh to shoot, maybe a half a day. Okay the first half of the day before lunch that we shot the scene, um, I still pulled my shoulder from doing it so many, you know what I mean? It's just like, okay, I'm done. And I told her, I said, you know, we have to, I don't know how many times I'll be able to do it, the whole entire thing through. And she was like, we'll shoot it like a stunt, we'll put the, you know, all the, I said, we well, just gotta have like multiple cameras going at yeah. once and try to get it. And so that we approached it in that way. She made this movie in 29 days. Yeah. Lorene Scafaria is a warrior. I mean, and this is Jennifer Lopez, as is our second AD, our production designer. So she had to know exactly what, we didn't have time. We shot that pole scene at the end, the second to last day. We had the last four days, and it was all due to Cardi B's schedule and Lizzo's schedule and all of these other factors that come in and the strip club availability. So we had to backload all of that. Uh -huh. And I remember we got up in front of the 250 extras dressed. 300. 300. <laughs> dressed in period garb. Um, and, you know, 
I remember I stood up there because I thought the first AD said, do you want to say something to them? Because Jen was about to come out. And then Cardi and Usher, because we shot all that on the same day. And I said, you know, you guys, we've invited you into this world. We're doing this so quickly. We have no time to redo it. Please put your cell phones away. They didn't have those kind of cell phones in 2007. And you've got to be a part of this. And you've got to protect us and protect the people, because these are really famous people who are going to come out and, and be someone else. And I remember going upstage with you. We, I'm upstairs, right? And we sat there, and Jennifer does. She comes out. Well, first I came out, yeah. and you walked. She came and got me at the trailer. They're like, they're, re they're ready for you. And I just, I prepared for this the whole entire shoot. And I'm ready. And I'm like, yeah, I feel good. I got my dental floss on. <laughs> <laughs> and I walk out, and I'm absolutely terrified. And I don't think I've felt that way in a long time. I've been performing a long time. I do concerts. I do all that. You guys know this. And I've done tons of movies. And I just, and I was really scared for the first time in a long time. And I look at Elaine, who's known me for 25 years now. And we've been working together that long. And she said to me, I said, uh, I'm nervous. I'm scared. And she goes, what? <laughs> and I go, I'm nervous. And she goes, yeah, you got this. You got this. <laughs> and I was like, What's to be nervous about? But yeah. Right. That, but I think that's no, a for first she question. said, what, what were you You saying? are. She, she said, you are? And I said, yes, I am. Um, I was, I had never, I'm still Jennifer, but I was Ramona the whole time. And um, it just got really real in that moment, who Ramona was for me and what I had to do and what I was doing. It's so far from who I am that it was just scary. It was scary to go up there. All of a sudden, there's 300 men there, and I have to get up on this stage, you know. Not, they, not like I do in my concerts with tights and sparkly things on and all that, because I wear sexy costumes. It's not, it's not about that. It was different. It was a bearing of not just yourself physically, but emotionally as yeah. well, and it was just terrifying. And I was just like, OK, and my heart's beating out of my chest. And she's, she's like, you got this. I said, yep, yep, I got this. And it's just about muscling up and, and getting up there and doing your job. My thanks to the four very real people on this stage.